What's going on? Rich Demuro here, Rich on Tech. Exciting times in California because we are now working with Google and Apple on the exposure notifications to fight against COVID-19. This means that your phone can now notify you potentially if you came into contact with someone that was later infected. So uh, the program is called CA Notify and uh, technically it's an app uh, for Android. For iOS, you don't really need an app. All you have to do is activate it in your phone. I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Now this goes live on December 10th um, but I'm gonna show you the steps to get this activated on your iPhone. So first things first, all you have to do is go into your settings on the iPhone and scroll down until you see exposure notifications. And once you see that, just tap there. And uh, before this really wasn't available in our area, so none of this really applied in California. But now if you tap turn on exposure notifications, gives you a little example. It says your iPhone can tell you if you've been exposed to COVID-19 and you press continue. And if you wanna read how this works, you can go into there. But uh, basically, Apple and Google came up with this framework that protects individual users' privacy. It does not use your location. It uses Bluetooth low energy. So basically your phone keeps track of all the other phones it comes into contact with. And then if someone with one of those phones says that they have COVID, it will tell all those phones that were nearby. So it's very complicated, but uh, they had some very smart people come up with this stuff. And I've talked to several privacy experts and they do say it is private and secure. So you press continue and you select your region. We have to go all the way down here. <laughs> Where are we? United States right there. And then we go California and here we go, California COVID notify, and you can press agree, and it says turn on exposure notifications. iPhone will begin using Bluetooth to log possible exposure, so you can be notified of any significant COVID-19 exposure based on California Department of Public Health guidelines. So what does that mean? It means that if your phone uh, was within six feet of someone for 15 minutes or more and they test positive, you'll get an alert saying, eh, you might wanna get tested or you might wanna at least know about this. And so that's how it's going to work. Um, so that's what you really need to know about it. So turn on and now it says exposure notifications are enabled. Now, if you receive a positive COVID-19 diagnosis, you'll have the option of sharing your diagnosis. So what they do is they give you a special code that you enter into this little um, area and that code will tell other people that you, uh, it'll notify those other phones that you came into contact with. So see, share a COVID-19 diagnosis. So if you do test positive, you would go in there and enter your code in here and that would alert the other phones that you came into contact with. So again, it's all, um, it's all very anonymous. There's no location being collected and it's all being done by basically uh, pinging the other Bluetooth on the phones around you. So um, there you have it. And it says uh, you can confirm that you're turned on. Exposure logging status is active. It says your phone is exchanging random IDs with other phones and logging them. Uh, and this works for 14 days. So the past 14 days of requests to check your exposure logs are saved. You can confirm that you're in the active region. This only works if you're in California. So don't try to sign up for this if you're in a different state. Um, and if you ever want to turn it off, you can go here and turn off exposure notifications. The main thing you need to know is that if your phone comes into contact with someone for um, within six feet or 15 minutes or more, and that person tests positive and they enter it into this app, don't forget, it's not just automatic. They have to enter their diagnosis. That um, will trigger a notification on your phone to say, hey, it's probably a good idea if you got tested. So again, let me just show you how to find it. You go into your settings on the iPhone. You scroll down to where it says exposure notifications and there you have it. And I will do another video uh, to show exactly how it works on Android. Thanks so much for watching. Rich Demiro here, richontech.tv. Share this with a friend if you found it helpful. Take care.